Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Sequence. This was set to be by Goliath, and is designed by Doug Reuter. Play a card from your hand, place a chip on a corresponding space on the game board. When you have five in a row, it's a sequence! Learn to block your opponents, remove their chips, watch out for the jacks, they're wild. With a little strategy and a little luck, you're a winner! Let me show you how to play. So in Sequence, uh, your goal is to get two sequences before your opponent, or opponents, depending on how many people you're playing with. A uh, sequence is a connected series of five of the same color marker chip in a straight line, either up, down, across, or diagonally on this big board here. Each player gets a certain number of cards in their hand, in a two-player game it's seven cards each. And then on your turn, what you do is you play a card and put a chip on the corresponding card on the board. So let's put a blue chip. Here, on the Six of Diamonds. Each card is pictured twice on the board, so they could have also gone here. You know, actually, let's put it here. Why not? The only cards that are not on the board are jacks. Uh, I'll explain the jacks later. Now, uh, once a marker chip has been played, it cannot be removed by an opponent unless using a one-eyed jack. These corners are wild, so if you're the blue player, this counts as a chip towards your chip, and so on. Now, there are two types of jacks in this game. Jacks with two eyes and jacks with one eye. If you play a jack with two eyes, like this guy, uh, you can place it in the discard pile and place your chip on any space on the board. So let's say green decides to just hurry up and just block this and put a chip right there. If you ever play a one-eyed jack, like this one, you get to remove a chip on the board that belongs to your opponent. So blue could take this chip off if they played a one-eyed jack. The only chips that can't be removed are ones that are part of a completed sequence. So let's say, for example, that's permanent. That's a one sequence completed. These chips can never be removed. Now, if you have a card in your hand which does not have an open space, like here you can see the Ace of Clubs has uh, chips on it already, uh, you can announce that you are holding a dead card and you may turn it in for a new card um, once, once per turn. Now, once you've taken your turn and placed your chip on the board, you must take a card from the draw deck Here's the thing though, if you fail to take a card before the next player makes a move and takes their card, you lose the right to take your card. So if you forget, lose that chance. Now if you play this with a team, uh, you use the same chips for your team, but there must be no table talk or coaching team members. Uh, you can't say anything that alerts your teammates to uh, what you're going to do, uh, and if that ever happens, uh, every member of that team must forfeit one card of their choice from their hand and put it in the discard pile. If you ever run out of cards uh, in the draw deck, you shuffle the discard pile and create a new deck. And you just keep going. You just keep placing chips for cards until a team makes two sequences. You could actually use chips of the same sequence in another sequence. So this could be a win right here, is if you had two sequences like that. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Just play cards from your hand and try to get five in a row twice. So this is essentially just glorified, randomized Gomoku, or Connect 5. The box says, it's fun, it's challenging, it's exciting, it's sequence. Well, one of those things is true, it's certainly sequence. Uh, literally all you're doing is drawing cards and hoping you get the right ones for sequences. Sure, there's some quote-unquote defense and attacking you can do with jacks, but even those are just if you're lucky enough to randomly draw a jack. Otherwise, all you're doing in this game is keeping track of where your closest sequence chances are and which cards are dead. But hey, if you don't draw the cards you need, you're fucked. That's the game. The best thing you can get out of this box is you get two full decks of cards and some chips. Maybe you can play a game that's fun instead. Uh, otherwise, uh, I cannot recommend this over just a classic game of Gomoku. Just five, five stone is ten times more fun than this because... That at least has light strategy that's within your control. You have agency in that game. In this game, you just draw cards and hope you can make five in a row with them. And otherwise, you're just waiting until that happens. Twice. It's not... it's nothing.